Why do horses have different names depending on their age and gender? If you do not work closely with horses, you may be surprised at the different terms that are used to describe male and female horses of different ages. Horses go through unique stages of life where they experience different physical changes. Understanding the development and the different needs at each stage of life can help you take better care of horses. Fall. From the time they are born and while they are still nursing from their mother, the baby horses are called foals or suckling foals. One of the foals' first missions in life is to stand and nurse. They can do this after two hours of birth. In doing so, it receives the antibody-rich colostrum that helps protect it from disease. They nurse very frequently, about three to five times per hour. During the first weeks of life, the mare's milk provides all the nutrients that the foal needs, even though they can start nibbling at grass after one week. By nibbling and sampling, the foal learns to eat solid food to prepare for the next stage when the mare's milk will no longer be sufficient for its nutritional needs, which happens around two months of age. Its digestive system quickly adapts to the dietary changes. By the third month, the mare's milk supply gradually declines and the natural weaning process begins. After four months, the foal no longer gets a substantial amount of nutrition from its mother's milk. Now, comparing to humans, the foal is the equivalent to a baby. Weanling A weanling is a foal that is no longer getting milk from its mother, but is not yet a year old. Weaning is one of the most traumatic events in the life of a foal due to the separation from his mother. Throughout the weaning period of rapid growth, both nutrition and exercise are very important for a healthy development. During this time, the foal is learning how to become a horse. Socialization skills are being learned and for this, the weanling needs to be around both horses and humans. Comparing to humans, the weanling is the equivalent to a toddler. Yearling A yearling is a male or female horse over the age of one year until two years. Yearlings are nearly always fully weaned and independent of their mothers. They sleep less and spend more of their time standing rather than lying down. At this age, they are very curious and enjoy melting anything they find in their pastures or stalls. They play among themselves by play fighting, galloping, bucking and running with bursts of speed. Yearlings are similar to teenagers and while overcoming much of their awkwardness, continue to need much guidance as they learn how to interact with other horses and with humans. During this period, a yearling should be learning to be obedient, to lead quietly and to stand tight for grooming, vet and farrier work. They may look unbalanced and even ugly as they go through different growth sprouts. The growth rate slows considerably after one year. Comparing to humans, the yearling ranges from preschooler to preteen. Philly and Colt Unlike the previous stages, after two years of age, the male and female horses have different names. Philly is a female horse under four years of age. Colt is a male horse under four years of age that has not been gelded or castrated. Most horses at age two start some groundwork training, like leading exercises and lunging, responding to voice commands and physical aids, learning how to hold a bit and carry a saddle, although actual riding is usually put off until the horse is around three or four years old. After the age of two, the once lanky yearlings, still looking awkward and unbalanced, start to become more mature, both mentally and physically. Comparing to humans, this age ranges from teenager to young adult. Mare and Stallion A mare is a female horse that is four years or older. If a mare is a mother, then it can also be called a dam. A stallion is a male horse that is four years or older that has not been gilded. If a stallion is a father, then it can also be called a sire. A gilding is a male horse any age that has been gilded, castrated. By the age of four, a horse is almost completely matured, so it's perfectly fine to ride it regularly. Because it is still a young horse, you will have to condition it for fitness slowly. This is when many horses begin their careers and can handle the advanced training of demanding sports like jumping, dressage, distance riding, polo and other high speed, high impact or physically demanding work. Most horses reach their full adult height between the ages of 4 and 5, but some breeds won't reach their full height until they are around 8 years old. At this age they are already sufficiently mature to start breeding. Comparing to humans, after age of four is equivalent to adulthood.